guys, Jay! Welcome back to the channel. So guys, today was Fan First Tuesday over at Fazbear Pulse, and they are doing a ton of reveals. One of the reveals really caught my attention, and I really want to talk about it a little bit here, because over the past couple of days, more like weeks, I've been talking about gargoyles, and the fact that the wings weren't exactly what everyone ex was expecting. And looks like Marvel has really shown what the wings on certain characters should be like. Anyways guys, let's take a deep dive into this, but before we get started, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys will enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification, so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Alright guys, without further ado, let's dive right into this. So, honestly, this kind of took me for a surprise when I saw it on screen, but I really have to talk about it right now. Check it out, guys. I am talking about the winged Venom figure in this two-pack. What the heck, man? <laughs> Honestly, I, was expect I, I wasn't expecting this, but heck, you know, at some point, we kind of knew he could make wings for himself, right? I mean, it was just a foregone conclusion eventually, but he's looking freaking amazing. Oh, my gosh. If we thought that Venom looked devil-like before, he's looking devil-like like, to the nth degree now. I am thinking that these are digital renders. I don't think that these are the actual figures, although they did show them on the live stream, which is kind of strange. But yeah, I believe these are actually digital renders here. They do look amazing, though. These wings that are attached to Venom, they look just absolutely incredible. Now, this Venom doesn't actually have any holes in his neck, so I think a lot of people are going to want this particular Venom regardless just for that. But we can see here, yeah, he has this amazing uh, uh, swappable head with the with a tongue out. God, that looks amazing. Holy crap. Look how far the jawline comes. Like, seriously, obviously he's a symbiote and he has no mandible, but that's just insane. Um, we can see here that the wings are just spread out so far. And the articulation that uh, I guess is proposed in this digital render looks crazy. Here we have a little bit of a closer view. That tongue is just ridiculous. And I'll be honest with you, I prefer this one versus the one that was included in the um, Hasbro Pulse exclusive, uh, you know, with the, with the drool. I actually prefer this tongue a little bit better. Here we have a view of the back where the wings are actually connected. And like I said, NECA, take some notes. Look at the way they're connected deep set. I don't think they're going to have a problem with these particular wings. Although I could be proven wrong. Uh, only time will tell, but they do look amazing from this angle. But this is the angle you really want to see. Holy crap, everybody. Now, I am going to, uh, you know, I am going to talk about the elephant in the room. The way these are, the way these wings are spread, are spread out, they do look like they're going to have the same issue as they did with the, with the gargoyle's wings. However, if we take a closer look at this joint right here, there is a pivot point. Yes, there's a pivot point in the wings. And there's a pivot point on the back plug as well. NECA. This is something you have to start doing with the rest of the figures, whether it's whether it's Hudson, whether it's uh, and okay for Lexington, I know it's almost impossible, but Broadway definitely consider doing something like this before it's too late. I know it's probably already too late, but seriously, this is something we need uh, for future wings and with accessory sets, which you guys have done before. I think this is going to be something which you can offer for the accessories pack going forward, and I think people are going to be very happy because of it. But yeah, he looks, he, he's looking amazing here, uh, Venom. Love the way the wings are splayed out. They really do have that dynamic look. They can really spread out all the way, uh, you know, left and right. But at the same time, like I said, they can, they can actually bend down if needed. Uh, because there's a break right here. We can't see it on this digital render, but right here is actually where it breaks. And there's a fold on the other side to actually, um, you know, put, put all of that together. So yeah, definitely looking forward to getting this particular Venom. Here he is with all of it, all of his accessories. We have the two wings, obviously fully splayed out there. We have Venom here, of course, no shoulder pegs. We have his two swappable hands, two clawed hands, and of course, the tongue face. Everybody loves a good tongue face. Hilarious. So here, he, here are the wings uh, detached from the body, and we can see that they do plug in properly. This is going to be an amazing figure all over. Here's a bit of a closer detail on how the wings are supposed to attach. Again, time will tell whether or not this is actually going to be more secure or less secure than the Gargoyles figures. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Venom doesn't come alone. He does come with an additional figure in the two-pack. It is Null. Obviously, Null is, uh, you know, a symbiont uh, creature from, uh, you know, a, another dimension. And, yeah, I don't know much, too much more about the character, but he's looking absolutely 
uh, nightmarish, just crazy. These are digital renders, you can tell. Uh, but he looks amazing. Uh, love the uh, spider emblem across. It looks more like a scorpion now that not, actually, yeah, it does look more like a scorpion now that I look at it. Um, love the striations in the arms. He's got that additional swapped head, which looks makes him look more, yeah, I guess stoic, if you will. He doesn't have the, those crazy teeth coming out. Yeah, he comes with this a crazy symbiote sword, just insane. Those wonderful boots, that wonderful getup. Again, I don't know enough about the character to really make so, you know, to say whether or not he looks exactly like the comic book uh, iteration, but he does look incredible in my in my eyes, anyway. Seriously, this is just crazy, and I love the attention to detail that's in the sword itself. Null comes with an additional swap face. Of course, that is his more stoic face. He comes with his venomized face, and he does come with that incredible sword. This two-pack is pretty amazing. Let's be honest. Although Null is gigantic, you know, he's he, I think he's a seven, eight-inch figure. Venom basically uh, dwarfs him with the size of his of his of his wings. So yeah. Definitely, if you're going to grab this two-pack, you're definitely going to get your value, your money's worth for this. Although I do, I am concerned that it is going to be a little bit pricey uh, in terms of its overall cost. However, we'll find that out come tomorrow uh, when it when it goes on, uh, up for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse. King in Black, the two-pack. Guys, that was absolutely crazy. Honestly, those Venom wings looked absolutely nuts. And I have to say, you know, I'm sorry, NECA. You do some amazing work in terms of your overall sculpts for your characters. But those wings really did sort of fall short of the mark. And uh, I have to say, if you're listening, take some notes from what Marvel's doing. Because if those wings actually peg into the back properly, and the way they collapse and fold in on themselves... I think that you have a winner right there if you want to do something along the same lines. But guys, tell me your thoughts. Are you guys just as amazed by the new Venom figure that's being uh, released along with Null from uh, the Marvel Legends series? And are those wings something that uh, you would hope that the Gargoyles would have come with the first time around? Please leave those comments in the comment section below. Well guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. It really does help me out. I hope you're only doing well, staying safe, and as always everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. RyRedCan33, Old IT Guy, Princess Kagali, John Joker, Michael Traverso, Christopher Herndon, Snell World, Thomas Meyer, Budrick Porter, and Joseph Michaels. Thank you for all your support, everybody. It really means a lot to me and really does help the channel to keep going.